That's a good sound to hear. Oh, I'm excited for that sound. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we uncovered a memory of Zelda riding her royal white steed. And immediately after remembering that, we found the long-lost descendant of that white steed. Apparently it got wild and bred with some of the other horses and passed down its, its beautiful beautiful family color through the generations. And this episode, oh, we also found a fantastic mini game, a fantastic golfing mini game that I I aced on technically the second try. All right. This episode, we found a shrine, the uh map. It's in a new area, but you know what? I'm going to I'm going to uncover it anyway because while it is in an unscoped out area, it's like 5 feet away from a place that we just found. So let's go inside the Biblia Shrine. And I'm actually going to show this little cutscene because we haven't seen it in forever. I always skip it out. And we, we never really get to, to appreciate it. So down the elevator I go. And let's find out whether or not this is an actual shrine or a test of strength. And at the bottom, once again, showing the cutscene because sometimes you have to appreciate some of the... The skipped things in life. Ooh. A stasis shrine. To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Dunba Tog. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Build and release. Dunba Tog shrine. So this is definitely a stasis shrine. Let's check for secrets first. Doesn't look like there are any. So, equipping stasis. Oh, this is gonna be weird. Hmm. Because it doesn't exactly follow the path we want. Oh, but no, I I, I have the solution. We do this. Oh, that that. Okay, I, I thought we were gonna have to mess around with stasising both the ball and this platform, but no, it, this worked. Okay, we didn't have to play around with the timing at all. So there's the the end. We have a bunch of almost exhibits, like we're at a zoo. And ultimately, the ball has to come from above on this switch? Okay. Something over there. Oh, I see what we need to do. Thankfully, we got the, the hammer from the golfing the golfing game last episode, so we can we can do this as we want to. I think we're supposed to just stasis it and whack away. Yeah, let's do that. Redirect it straight forward, and will it hit the switch? No. But it did knock him down. And all of this is for a... A chest, not an actual solution. Okay, let's drop this here. And... Stasis. Aim this correctly. There. That should be, that should be perfect. Go! And... Did it knock the button in at all? I don't think it did. Uh, that's... That's disappointing. There, that's what we want. Now we have a clear shot at the button, and we can get Benjamin's chest. You get it? Because Benjamin bu button. You know, never mind. Throw that button into its socket. I'm surprised we didn't break the thing. I'm pretty sure that would have taken like six to ten hearts if it hit, had hit us. So whatever that button's made out of, it is not wood. Falcon bow. Hi the highly refined Rito made bow created by master Rito craftsman. Rito warriors favorite for its superior rate of fire, which helps them excel even further at aerial combat. And my inventory is full. Do we even want this bow? 
Do we want to drop one of our... Okay, we have a golden bow. <laughs> the answer then is yes. Falcon bow, and apparently it has a higher rate of fire? Which makes it different from normal bows, somehow? I guess it could have a quick shot in addition to whatever it already has. Okay, we get the ball. And we need to throw it onto the switch? Uh... Okay. Easy enough to do. I'm surprised they didn't give us, like, a... A hammer for this. Okay, get on there. Okay, our, our thing is open. And we get another chest. I'm guessing this one will have a small key in it. Or just a... A great... A great thunder blade. Oh, that's nice. I'm actually happy to get that. Okay, let's push this back. And... I, I, f I have a feeling that we need this, so we'll we'll take it with us. I'm not sure how I'm going to get it up here, but we'll give it a go. Okay, that did not work, so either A, we don't need it, or B, actually, I don't think we do need it. Oh, yeah, we don't need it at all. Uh, we can just take these, these barrels, launch them at this bridge, and they should, just, the bridge should just fall down on the button. There, let's aim this one more time. Oh, uh, that's awkward. Oh, 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 it worked. Wow, that was almost full charge right there. But it pushed the button in, and I think that's it. I think we've uncovered all of the secrets here. Unless somehow we could get on top of that, but I don't see how that's possible. So, I'm going to declare this shrine, shrined. It's my new verb. It means to complete a shrine. Whoa. Are you seeing this? Uh, after exiting the shrine, I continued to ride down this canyon. Because I, I felt like, for the most part, we had bled it dry. We found a shrine, we found a mini game, so there wasn't much more to to find. Now, I was right, there were just a couple Korok seeds along the way, but this, this looks like something, it looks like a maze, actually. It looks very much like a maze, and either there's going to be, like, a boss down here, or more Korok seeds, entirely possible. Here, I actually don't want to deal with you. I really don't want to deal with you, you can just die. And as for you, I found out I can do that. <laughs> And kill him. As I was saying before I got interrupted by that Korok seed, and it sounds like I'm I'm really I'm really begrudging begrudged by Korok seeds, but I, I'm actually excited whenever I, I get that that indicator because every Korok seed we get Whoa! Almost fell through the world. That was close. Every Korok seed we get is one step closer to getting them all. And like I said last episode I feel like that's possible now. We have like 209, I believe. And so it, it seems probable that we could get all of them in this adventure. And if I, as long as I stay vigilant and whenever I, I get an indication that there is one, I scope it out and get it, or at least mark it on my map so I can do it later, I feel like we could. We could actually get all of them. But anyway, this, what is this? Is this a maze? Because it looks 
It looks special. Uh, let's land on you. What on earth is this? And I also, I do remember I said we would go to Satori Mountain and scope that out. But also, I'm, I'm riding this road out to its conclusion. And this is a really weird conclusion. You can see inside, <laughs> the Master Sword's power is already back. Wow. I think it's like a six minute cooldown now, so that's to be expected. Okay, what is this place? Whoa. Forgotten Temple with the Korok Seed. Forgotten Temple, this is cool. Uh, you know what? I'm fine with this. I'm fine with taking this detour because it's... It's really sweet. It's like a subway. It, it Actually, you know what? It really is just a subway. Whoa. Uh, I need this Korok, though. Before I go in here, I do need to grab the Korok. Okay, let's climb up here and see what's in the Forgotten Temple. It's it's sweet, whatever it is. Uh, we can't get up this way. Need to plan out a climb, which we haven't done. We haven't done too often. Normally, I can just kind of spam climbing up here, but there's some shelves here that make this a, that a bit complicated. So, are we going to be trying stealth, stealthing our way in, or what? Okay, big updraft. You know what, until I'm sure what we're facing, I'm stealthing, because there are guardians here, and I don't know if they're going to be alive or not. Oh, they are. They are. Oh. Oh, they're all alive. Uh, okay. Okay, uh, I have an app for multiple guardians shooting at me at once. Druid's protection. There. That works. And shield bash the last one. Oh, there are guardians everywhere. Uh, if we can avoid them, that'd be great. I I'd rather stay in cover and keep the illusion than to just beast my way through this. So there are guardians everywhere. Uh, I think we're going to take the high path and then possibly work our way back. Or, you know what? Until I... I know the secret of this place. I'm just going to stealth through it. Oh, uh, I don't think I'll be able to get that. Uh, let's fly to the other one. Actually, no. Let's use one of our these many updrafts. Get up. Get up. Fly up. I'm trying to collect the parts. Oh. Okay, got these. And what is our... There's another hole in there. Should I defeat them? I think I should defeat them. No, I want to face you. There. There. Shield bash that back at him. All right. Got it. Get the ancient screws. And you actually, we have we have multiple apps for this. First off is our ancient gear. Just to make sure. It also has this ancient proficiency thing, which I'm not sure about. And then let's get the ancient shield. Okay, come on. There, shield bash it back. I would like to save my charge of Druk's protection, but I also don't want to get hit. Are you alive? I don't think this one's alive. So there there are some dead guardians. Just not a lot. Most of them are indeed living. And then there's something down here. I need to be checking on. Okay. We're also not getting the music as though this is a, a maze. So I don't, I don't know what to expect from this. It reminds me very much of the, uh, what is it? The Wind Temple? Yeah, the Wind Temple from Wind Waker. Uh, I missed the timing there, but Daruk has my back. Normally I don't like using Daruk's protection. But in areas with multiple guardians, it is kind of necessary. Okay, where are, where are we going again? Wait, why do I... That's weird. We're getting the, the music like there's a dragon nearby, but... No way he goes through here, right? Whoa, whoa. There's a shrine. Okay. Okay, I guess Stinrall is not going through here, but this is the path he takes, so... It's kind of weird that they play the music, even still. Okay. 
Although it would be pretty cool if he, th he went through here. That'd be really neat. Okay. In here... Is that a goddess statue? I think that... Oh, that's a huge goddess statue. My goodness. And there are guardians everywhere. Okay, no need to panic. We'll just do our normal thing. Probably gonna get hit by one of them. Oh! Well, I shield bash one. Didn't mean to. It's weird that he shot first, even though I saw him second, or he saw me second. Missed it. Ow. You know what? You know what? Oh, boy. Ah. Come on. Hit me with your best shot. Got it. Oh, come on. There, he's dead. Whew. We can do this, we can do this. Uh, Stasis is my friend. I need to remember that. Uh, you. I actually want to face your friend here. Oh boy, this is going to be awkward. Oh boy. And last one. Woo! I am a beast! I am an absolute monster. I, th I thought for sure my shield was going to go there. And I'll continue to check down here because this is where I would put a secret. And I'm going to give this the same treatment I give mazes because mazes often hide secrets like this. Although it looks like none of my efforts are going to be rewarded. Oh, uh, another one. Uh, another one. Do it. Yeah. That's what I thought. Whew, I think that's all of them. None of them were legged guardians. So I presume this area was just used for storage as the kingdom excavated them. Because all of them do have a reason to exist. Okay, also it should be noted... Actually, no, never mind. I was going to say, in mazes we don't get shrine blips, but that's not true. Um, it's because mazes aren't technically... They're not shrine quests, they're just random the random shrines technically okay there's the goddess statue very weird place for a goddess statue rona kacha shrine can we pray at this one it's the biggest one we've ever seen pray we can you have conquered the shrine and claimed their spirit orbs i offer you great power but you do not yet have four and that's it so no unique dialogue, just the biggest goddess statue in the game, or that we've seen, and no unique dialogue. Okay. Really weird, but I'll take it. Rona Kacha's Blessing, or Kachta's? Kachta's Blessing. What is this? A great flame blade. I'll, I'll take it, because I'm kind of forced to. I wish they would give you an option to take it out of the chest or not. I, that would be that'd be really nice because a lot of these weapons I would love to leave until I need them. But the only way I could do that is if I had a full inventory. Okay, uh, this is our third, our second spirit orb. Uh, you're so cute. Want to spend some time with me? Uh, this has to be Yiga Clan. Sure. Well then, can you just close your eyes? Sure. Yeah, your eyes are closed now. Well then, Hylian champion. <laughs> Begone, enemy of my master. And you guys probably thought I would get sidetracked again. But no, we are indeed going back to Satori Mountain. Climbing up the same path that we climbed up before. And hopefully going to get this shrine. And I also decided to rest at the stables so that it would be nighttime. That way, uh, when we get there, there's a chance it might be glowing, and whatever is going to happen, can happen. Because, apparently, gl the glowing Satori Mountain is a big thing, and everyone was screaming about it when the game first came out. Uh, let's see, I think this is a path. Hopefully, I don't slide back down the mountain. That would be kind of scary. We're approaching the boss that I said was here. Oh, it's a Stelnox. I don't remember seeing this, but okay. Uh... Stasis. Stasis you. Boosh. Okay, let's let's get this thing down. 
Uh, equip our attack gear. Get him down. And just get him down quicker. Let's get the eye. Yeah, it's mine. Do 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 but do 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 but da 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 da. Oh, it escaped me. But not for long. I was I was planning on throwing it down the mountain, but didn't quite work out. Okay, he drops a a boomerang. Is it better than mine? Giant boomerang. It is. So boomerang. It is a power 41 weapon. Okay. And f just a normal flame blade? Uh, I'm almost tempted to take it. Over the... Uh, I, d I really can't drop it, can I? Man, I I'd love to, but now we know where we can get a source of flame blades, at least. And a golden claymore. Because, of course. And from here, we're going to have to climb the mountain. Not too bad. Actually, we don't have to climb the mountain because I have the overpowered ancient thing. You know how I was saying how I really liked how Breath of the Wild did their DLC? And I love it how things like the Travel Gate don't feel like a, a necessity, but an accessory. And that's really the important yeah. distinction. Oh, boy. Do not fall off this mountain. I'm just going to jump up right now so you don't fall. There, I'm here. Well, the ancient gear really doesn't feel like an an, an accessory. It feels like a necessity because once you have it, there is like no no reason that you are worse than than anyone else. Like you're you're strictly better than someone who doesn't have it if you if you have it. And it's not necessarily a good thing, but it's it's still good gear and I'm not going to complain, but I just wish they would have made it a little bit worse. Okay, the uh what is this called? The Mog Laton Shrine. Synced Swing. Mog Laton Shrine. Oh, this is scary. Oh, this is scary. Oh. How are we supposed to do this? Once we're... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't need stasis. I need magnesis. Okay, drop. Oh, boy. Leap of faith. Oh. And jump. Oof. Oh, this is crazy. Uh, oh, is this what? Oh, this is what I think it is. Right? Yes. Oh, I love these. I don't know what they're called, but you know the like the the desk gizmo where you can drop it and it hits the balls and keeps going. Well, this, <laughs> well, this isn't that. Uh, instead, I think we're supposed to shoot that down. Shoot that down and get it here. Okay. That's a start, but I think that is what we're supposed to do. Maybe? Actually, no. No, I know what we're supposed to do. Forest Dweller Spear. I do not want. I do not want it. Let's leave it here. I think what we're supposed to do is bring to this, this to the side. Actually, can we just set it on top? No. Uh, but we can't. Do this. Please don't hit me. Okay. And synced swinging. We could just walk by, but this is more fun. Oh! Ugh. I'm really playing with death on this shrine. That almost hit me. Run! Oh. This is a nail biter of a shrine. It really is. Don't hit me. Oh, grab it. I really don't trust myself to do this correctly. Forest Dweller's bow. Don't want it. Keep running. Duck! Okay. I think they're they're settling. I'm up here. Uh, we can use this to counterbalance. This is a weird one. Oh, I, I see what we need to do. Okay. Do that. Jump on. Crouch down just for my own safety. 
Uh, I this is this is this is crazy. This is crazy. No, that didn't work. That didn't work. <laughs> Pull it over here. How are we supposed to do this one? Wait. Oh, this isn't tilted. Oh, well that makes things simple. Can I fall here? Thank goodness I cannot. Okay, I, I thought I was on a timer. That makes this a little bit less insane, I think? Because now I'm not like on a timer. I, I don't have to do this as quickly as possible or I, I fall to my untimely death. Jump! And fly. Get this. Okay, what is it? A gold rupee. It's radiant gold light illuminates my soul because I apparently am obsessed with money. Or Link is. The character of Link is obsessed with money. He's he's actually Tingle. Uh, this one, I think I can do this. I can cheat this one a little bit. Put this there. Pull this towards me. And then pull this over here. Jump on it. Uh, and then move this there. Jump back. Pull it towards me again. Jump on. And then... Okay, now what does this do? What? Oh. Okay. I mean... I could just shoot this with a fire arrow, but I think that would ruin the spirit with which this shrine is, is being used. So let's move this there. Drop it. Wait for it to swing back. And do that. Yeah. See, we could just shoot a fire arrow, but that, that just kind of ruins the illusion, man. It's just, We're supposed to solve these in a certain way, and that's not... I did not mean to do that. We're supposed to solve these in a certain way, and doing a fire arrow is not the way that they want us to solve this. Uh, push the doors open. And we're done. Man. You know, normally I'm like, oh yeah, this shrine... This shrine did a unique thing in a unique way, and uh, I like it for that. Well, that has to be really stressed here, because I've never seen a shrine like this, and when there's a shrine that's making me cry out in panic because I think I'm about to be crushed or thrown off into an abyss, that's a well-designed shrine. I, I would have to say this is my favorite shrine we've ever done. Uh, except for that w except for that one, what is it, the current solution? That one is also my favorite because it is so terribly designed. But this is, this is probably my favorite shrine in the game. Wow, that was that was sweet. Die, Raven. Man, Ravens are actually cool. There, there are two Ravens next to my house uh, where I grew up, and they're mates. And uh, Ravens mate for life. And so these two mates have been there since I moved in, uh, which was nine years ago now. And they they'll they'll fly around and they're they're like always together and they're here year, year round. But then um, I I was told when I moved in that every spring and we've seen this since every spring their their uh, children will come back and I I presume it's the children. Uh, we can usually recognize these two ravens. They kind of have a, a slightly different call, but and they're pretty old now. But anyway, long story short. Um, the children will come back, and they'll chase the parents, like these two specific ravens, all around the skies. Just, and they're they're not quiet about it either. They'll just scream all spring long, and they'll just chase the parents around. And it's it's hilarious, but you feel pretty bad for the parents because they they raise these children, and then just all chaos breaks loose whenever there's a family reunion every spring. Uh, we also haven't been over to that lake, so let's go to the lake. I was gonna fly down there, but we can do that. Let's do it in order of elevation, not in order of appearance. Okay, what is this lake? Is it another... Uh, it's the... Yeah, we have not been here before, so there's... There's something to it. Hopefully. Whoa. There's definitely something to this. And there's also a Korok right here, which I'll grab. Oh, wait, this isn't... Oh, it's right here, okay. Well, I'll show this one just because. Why would I leave this in the end slate? It kind of it wouldn't make sense. Is now ready to roll. 
some ore, and then there's something on top of this rock. Oh, it's it's probably Korok seed. Well, we're we're getting them like clockwork. And again, I I'm really not disappointed whenever I get a Korok. I'm I'm pretty excited whenever I I hear my mask wiggle because we're just getting closer and closer. And I didn't expect to be able to complete this. Speaking of which, there's another Korok. Wow. Uh, one. Here, let's go ahead and shoot this with fire. One. I presume this is two. No, that's like four. Uh, where is two? Five. Wow. I just got a Korok, and there's another Korok. This is just Korok City right here. Uh... Wow, there are... Do you see this? There are Koroks everywhere here. This is Korok City. I would I would love to cut this out, but I, I don't think I can. This is... This is actually something we're doing now. Uh, this one goes in there. And... This one goes in here. Or did I get that wrong? No, I got that right. In fact, they're connected to each other, which is new. And I actually see another Korok seed while we're we're talking here. Or maybe this isn't a Korok seed. No, this is a Korok seed. What is this area? Oh my word, this is the best. This is the absolute best. And that's a Korok right there. Goes in that. This is crazy. Okay, we'll grab this. There. I think we might be done. But either way, we're done with the episode, so I can call it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. How could you not? We found Koroks. We found uh, another shrine graveyard, uh, which I love the shrine graveyards. They're my favorite areas in the game. They're just super cool. Menace They're menacing, mysterious, and and deeply ingrained with the lore of this game, which I'm always happy with. And next time in uh, Pal Plays The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, we're probably going to be going back to Ridgeland Tower, taking that guy up on his offer uh, to see how far we can fly. I have a, a cool trick that I'm probably going to be using fire arrows for that to get some additional air time. Uh, and then we can kind of cheat the system. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really mean that. This, this series has become so much more than I, I first thought. First, I thought it was just another Zelda game. But now... Now that we're however many episodes, 97 episodes in, quickly qu approaching the 100th episode, I I feel like this is, is its own series. It's not a Zelda game. This is this is Breath of the Wild and one of the coolest series I've ever done. Not necessarily the best because I still say Pik Pikmin 2 is the best Let's Play, but one of the coolest just because you guys are so involved and ingrained in the series. I seriously don't do anything without your consent, and it's, I love it. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next episode of Breath of the Wild. I leave, be I leave here a record of my search for the ancient songs of Hyrule. The ancient song of Pegos Woods. It seems that a song has been passed down through the ages in Pegos Woods area of Faron. The song references mythical creatures such as dragons and great serpents. I wonder if such cre creatures could really ex have existed, or perhaps they still exist today. Ancient Song of the Hyrule West Plains. On the south side of Hyrule, West Hyrule Plains, there is a bridge called Jado Bridge. Near this bridge, there are a number of... <laughs>